Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're here checking out a game called Autonauts. So Autonauts is a pretty cool little game I found over on itch.io. It's free. The creator is taking donations, obviously, for his game here. This is an interesting game. So this has that look of like kingdoms and castles, for instance. Maybe like that that very low poly kind of blocky look. We have our world here, and what we are is we are a race of people called the automation knots I think it is and our job is to build robots to create civilization yes we are the ultimate lazy <laughs> the laziest race in the universe we're gonna make robots to do everything for us and then we're going to rule on high as they create vast worlds of beauty and splendor now this is very very it's called I think the pre 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 alpha so obviously what we're here, what we're seeing here is very beta. Uh, there is a quick start guide, which I'm going to have to follow because I really have no clue what to do. There's no traditional tutorial on this. So let's get started and see what the Autonauts can do. I know at the very least, you can wander your little guy around here. I'm assuming this, this Farmer Joe looking individual with the fantastic hat. Yes, even, even a million light years away, they're still wearing this ball cap along with the uh, overalls there. As you can see, everyone's very, very unhappy. Uh, Yubishi is pretty unhappy. Does our guy have a name? It doesn't. So I guess we're going to have to name him Spoonicus or something. Supposedly, we take a stick, we take a stone, and from there, we make an axe. Oh, Lord. I don't... It almost looked like he was vomiting the axe out. I don't really... I'm assuming that was him building it. So now with the power of the axe, I assume we can start taking it to... Uh, to the different trees and nature over here, as we often do. Oh, okay. All right, I see what's going on here. We were dropping our axe. Ah, you have to left click on stuff. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, you can click on the planks after you beat up the planks, and the planks turn into poles. Okay, um, let's try and beat the living crap out of this. Wow, oh, yep, we <laughs> we're owning these pine trees over here. They just... They just spew out delicious resources. Oh, tree seeds and logs. Okay. So I'm guessing we can plant new trees. I feel so bad for this guy. I, I need to figure out what his problem is. It looks like a dog maybe or something. I don't really know what it is. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I accidentally hit the E key and it looks like there is a ton of buildings. General storage, seedling tray, flooring, bench, workbench, worker assembler. Ah, that must be to make the robots. Recycler. Fertilizer storage. Cereal seeder. Cereal. Okay. Uh, fencing gate. Gear router. Windmill. Porridge pot. Clay furnace in a hut. Okay. Uh, whoa, oh, oh no. Okay. Yep. Get out of there. All right. Well, let's see what's next over here on the list. Okay. So it says to do some simple flooring and put two of them down side by side. So here's a nice wide open area. So there we go. We got a couple of floorings down, and now we have to do the bench saw and put it on the flooring. Okay, so, and then R to rotate. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. Yeah, no big deal. Um, uh, I guess we'll put it... Ah! I get it. Okay, so once you build your blueprint, I'm assuming you have to grab the logs. Let's see over here. Now, can I only carry one thing at a time? Oh, no! No, I'm beating the log up. Oh, my poor log. Damn it. I love my log, and now my log is gone. Pick this up without beating it up. There we go. So now if we bring this log over here, it needs two logs. Ah, uh, I can see why you'd want... There we go. Okay. Yeah, I can see why you would want robots to do this for you, because this is pretty tough, actually. If you had to do this each time, what a pain in the ass. All right, there we go. Oh, hi. Okay, yep, there's our flooring. So these are just blueprints, and then it tells you what you need to finish constructing it. Where's, okay, there's a couple other logs over here. Go ahead, and, can, now can I get more than one log? I'm assuming I cannot get more than one log. No, I cannot. Okay, so basically left click is get anything, and then right click is like interact with stuff. So if we right click on this, he puts that together, and now we have our two floorings. Now we should be able to go to E, then do a bench saw. Yeah, see, there we go. Now we can put it down. Okay, and the entire thing has to take place on this, meaning that all the arrows and stuff have to be inside. So let's put it over here, I guess, for right now. Okay, so that's just a blueprint. Now, what does this take? It takes logs, planks, metal saw blades. Metal saw blades? Oh, wow, you can keep walking 
and there's more stuff. I was almost screwed because I um I put my axe behind a tree and I can't seem to get it. it. I don't think that there is a screen rotate yet. So without my axe, I would be totally jacked. There we go. We need to take down a whole bunch more trees. I wonder if everything's like procedurally generated. It kind of seems like oh crap. Actually, that's fine. I don't I don't mind beating those beating those logs down. We are we're gonna need planks anyway, but I need more regular logs. So there we go. So let's go ahead and grab. Oh, I found my other axe. Now I have axes laying all over the place. Excellent. I'm still trying to put together this damn bench over here. I think we're gonna get it though. Okay, now we need a metal saw blade. What the hell do you need for a metal saw blade? Crisis averted, boys. It was the crude bench saw we needed. For that, it's just stones. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So now we can use logs and I guess this will just turn it straight into planks instead of us. Oh, these are probably like worker benches that you could put the machines at. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, worker assembler. Now this does not need to be on a floor plan. So I guess let's put it right over here for right now. Okay, so what does this take? Logs, planks, poles. Got it. So now, can I use my own station, I wonder? Like, if I grab my axe over here. We have very few trees left. Can I chop down this sad little tree? It's such a sad little tree. Does it give me a log or anything? Nope, it just gives me a pole. So we need bigger, better trees. Let's... Oh, never mind. I found, oh, there's cows! <laughs> Look at these hideous creatures! Actually, I shouldn't say it. They're actually really cute. That's so odd. These little blockular cows. Okay. Now we got some logs. Let me go ahead and put my axe down. Grab this log. Now what happens if I bring this log over to this bench saw? Like I could just, I could, man, those freaking cows are beating the crap out of some grass. Planks. Whoa, there we go. Oh, neat. It just spewed out a whole bunch of planks. Okay. So now, grab it. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this now. Okay, one there. So grab another one. Okay, so left click. Right click, left click, right, right click. Okay, so now we need two logs and two poles. Now, can I grab a plank and turn it into a pole, I wonder? Yep, sure can. Sure freaking can. Oh, that's much more efficient than chopping things. I see why you would want this now. Now everything's beginning to make sense. All right, go back over here. Now all we need is two more logs, which I happen to have right over here. You guys aren't going to eat this entire place out of house and home, are you? It seems like the grass grows pretty quick here. It's actually quite scary. These sad denizens must be the indigenous people. But don't you worry, boys. The automation aunts, or whatever the hell we're called, are going to fix your home up nice and good. Although, to be fair, your home actually doesn't look that bad. Like, we're doing all this, but quite frankly, it, it it's... It's not really that horrible. You got cows, you got mushrooms, you got sticks and trees and cereal, I guess. All right, so now we need a workbench. So I'm guessing the basic one. Is there a crude one? No, there's just a basic one. We can, well, hold on now. We can get this done if we do it like this. Oh yeah, that's an efficient use of space. Oh, our jackass is over here. Hey buddy, buddy, dude, listen, go, go over here for real quick. I just, I need you out of the way real fast so I can get over here. And then turn this like this. Oh yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a little conveyor over here of people working real hard. So now we need log, poles, and stones. Okay, well we definitely have the poles. Grab your axe, Gimbley. We're taking down freaking trees today. There we go. We need, I think, two. Is that one gonna be big enough? It is. Okay, good. Drop your axe, grab the tree, bring that, bring that giant piece of hardwood over here because we're gonna need two logs for this. And stone shouldn't be that hard to find. I imagine there's some laying around here somewhere. If you just walk around, you can usually find all the resources you need. All right, so now all we need is two stones. So let's see what we can find out here. Oh, I found water. That's new and exciting, okay. How about back over here by the metal deposits? Oh, a boulder. Okay, that's interesting. But let's grab these stones for right now. I wish you could pick, oh, you can pick up more than one thing. Oh man, this whole time. This whole time, I've been like, oh, I guess you can only pick one, th pick up one thing at a time. I feel like a jackass. Okay, so grab your stones. We need two of them. 
And go ahead and put these things down over here. Yes. Yes. All right. Things are going to move faster now. So you click on this and you can choose all the different items to, to do. We want a crude gear. Okay. So now what does it take for a crude gear? One plank? Oh, that's not that bad at all. I think we have some planks laying around. Oh, we sure do. And then I think you right click and things should work by themselves. Yep. There we go. And a crude gear just exploded out. All right. I think that this is probably for the crude worker. Yeah. It needs one crude gear. All right. So go ahead and pick that up. Put that in. Boop. And now four planks and four poles. We have a couple of poles over here. Now, how many things can you carry? I wonder. There we go. And can you get planks as well? Oh, do I not have any planks? All right. We're going to go. We'll make some planks in a second with our awesome freaking workstation over here. Kind of throw all that in right over there. All right, now let's go ahead and chop down a tree. We should have plenty of axes all over the place. Trees are kind of growing. It just takes a little bit. Now we click on... Hold on, hold on. Before we do it... We click on this. Oh, okay. It's just going to make it into planks. Okay, yeah. I want planks. Right click. Go. Yes. We should get four. Okay, good. One, two, three. Stack them up high, buddy. Stack them up high. And now this should make our worker. Man, those freaking cows are going ballistic over there. Don't, don't like, don't destroy the entire planet before I get done making a worker. Ah, oh, the crude worker. There he is. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a 1991 computer screen. That's what it is with a little antenna. This is what we've created. This is what's going to build the universe. Whatever. Okay. So now here comes like the weird part of the game. Now we have to teach this guy what to do. Space bar to call him. His, his name is Ian. <laughs> All right, Ian. Uh, oh, oh, we got to get an axe for him first. Okay. So let's go grab him an axe. So it was good that we made all those axes. We've got axes like all over the place. Um, I don't want, I got to move these seeds over here because they're kind of in the way. Drop that seed over there. So grab an axe. Can I now? Can I grab two axes? I wonder. Oh, I grabbed another friggin' seed. Get rid of this seed, man. All right, we're gonna move over here. We're gonna trade with Ian, <laughs> and we're gonna give him an axe. Okay, yeah, he's wielding it. Okay, cool. So now let's go get ourselves an axe, and then we have to teach him. We have to actually teach him how to chop trees. Okay, hold on. Teach. Okay. Chop a tree. Okay, and then I think it's repeat. Go. Oh, he's doing it. Yes. He's doing it himself. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Okay. Um. So now he's going to chop trees. Oh, did he malfunction? Oh, his axe broke. Okay. All right. Um, crap. All right, let me, uh, let me make you a bunch of new tools. Wow, we're going to need a bunch of stuff, actually. I'm coming, Ian. I'm coming. Ho hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm going to get you set up. Trade. There you go. Does that make you happy? Actually, you know what? Let's, let's not have him chop more trees. I was just looking around. We got logs for days. Let's, um, let's build something. Like, we have a little hut in here. What does this do? I'm just going to have this stuff, like, facing the camera for right now. Because I don't know what half of this does. Um, so if we do a hut, okay, what does the hut take? The hut takes four logs. So, okay, so can I teach him to move logs into the hut? Actually, can I just grab all the logs myself? Because apparently you can grab like a lot of stuff. Hold on, let me see here. Okay, log. No, I can only grab one log. Okay, so let's see if we can teach him to make a hut. Uh, all right, so we're going to do this teach grab a log put it in the hut all right this is gonna be cool um, if he does this it's gonna be amazing now i don't know if he can figure out like where the logs are he figured out where the trees are okay and then repeat go all right we need more stone there's like a whole bunch of boulders down here maybe i'm gonna teach this guy how to mine stone so a wooden pickaxe needs a plank and a pole. What else can you make in here? Sickle, scythe, a hoe. Yeah, let's do the pickaxe. So a plank and a pole. 
That's not that bad at all. In fact, we have both over here. Actually, we have quite a few. I'm gonna go grab a bunch of poles, I think, and a bunch of planks and make a bunch of these so that we can start getting a ton of stone. All right, now I gave Ian a couple of... <laughs> it's so funny that his freaking name is Ian. I gave Ian a couple of pickaxes. So now let's try this. So it's gonna be call him, teach him, repeat, and go. Okay. So... Okay, so call... All right, teach. Yeah, come over here, buddy. All right, now we're gonna click. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Repeat. Go. Now how? Now you do it. You do it. You do it. Okay. Yep, he's go. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Are you are you like spewing up any stones or anything? You have a low battery. Your battery goes low? Are you serious? How the hell do I repair the battery? Oh, this game. This game. It's actually pretty damn fun. Do we... Oh, crap. Boys. Ian's out of power. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's back. He's back. I don't know if... What the hell am I doing? Oh, I'm beating up mineral deposits. Oh, metal ore. Metal ore. Okay, hold on. Man, look at our boy down here. He has got freaking stones for days. That's awesome. Now, Clay, do you have to do it with the... No, you don't do it with the pickaxe. So I'll bet it's with a shovel or something. Um, I think I remember having a whole slew of shovels laying around because I made them and then I never ended up using them. Oh, when he runs out of power, you have to click on him. Okay, so that keeps you vested. That keeps you... Yes! Okay, the clay is working. All right, good. Now we need six pieces of clay... And then we can make the clay furnace. Because I noticed we need to turn the metal ore into metal. So I'm curious if by doing this, the furnace will allow us to make metal. Yep. Crude bread. Metal and charcoal. Metal. All right. So you need charcoal and metal ore. Oh, we need charcoal, huh? Okay. Well, what do you need to make charcoal? Oh, two logs. Okay. That's actually not that bad. You know what we need? We need another worker. One worker isn't enough. I need more minions over here. We need four poles, the crude gear, and the planks. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got another one. This one's name is Jane. <laughs> Ian over here is out of power. He's also out of uh, pickaxes. Oh, my God. Look at what he has mined. Oh, he's mined so much stuff. Oh, that's so fantastic. Okay. Um, so, Jane... Your job is going to be to absolutely dominate every tree in the area. Let me make you a whole slew of axes. So you can grab four things at once. So we, I don't know how they're stacked like this. It's like the freaking levitating stick trick over here. Go down over here through all the grasses in there, have you? Our, uh, our little buddies are leaving dung everywhere. That's the, uh, the animals. All right, so drop this on the ground. So stick... Stone axe. Oh, and you can trade from like any distance. Okay, that's pretty good. So you can call, select, trade. And I, I don't have to go over to her. You can't put it in here, which is interesting. You can put it in the inventory. I think maybe you need like all different ones over here or something. I'm not really sure. All right. Jane has three axes. Now to teach her what time it is. All right. Oh, not trade. Okay. Select. Here we go. Here we go. Teach, chop the tree. Man, if you were like a scripter or someone, you could do some crazy stuff here. And boom, repeat, go. Jane, do it. Yes. Get me logs all day, Jane. Logs all day. I'm going to watch her. I'm going to watch her work while I stand back. This is, oh, this is our island. How big is this place? Oh, it keeps going. Oh, okay. There, it, it, there is an end to the board, I guess, but it's still pretty big. Holy crap, can you like wade through the water, I wonder? Man, I would I would love to see what kind of crazy friggin' colonies you guys could do. So this is a really neat idea. This is like a programming civilization builder with a lot of stuff. And like, I haven't even gotten into a lot of this. I mean, we just started with like the workers and the assembler. We haven't messed with the recycler. As I understand the recycler, you can put anything that's like several pieces in and it'll spew out its base, whatever its basics are. Oh, what are you angry about? Did you already burn through all of your axes? Did you really? 
Oh, no you didn't. Do you not know how to put it in your hand, perhaps? That's odd. Oh, I could probably do that for you, I guess. Well, now that she's created about 100 million logs, let's go ahead and grab them and put our little hut together over here, after all. This sad little hut should get finished. And if we wanted to, we could actually make some charcoal and stuff as well to get the, uh, the furnace going. But, I don't know. I mean, well, you know what? We have so many logs. Let's make a piece of metal. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but there we go. So there's our hut. So what does the hut do? I mean, like, I can... I can stand in it. I guess it's maybe just for me to like sleep in. That's a little a little area over there to make me feel like I'm home or something like that. I gave Ian over here a pickaxe. Yeah, you have to move it from their inventory into their hand, it looks like. So he is he is now beating the ever living crap out of more and more stone. Over here we got a piece of charcoal. Um so now we can make metal, I think. So one charcoal, okay. And then one metal ore. We happen to have that right over here. And then we're going to get a piece of metal. And then we can build... Oh, a metal saw blade. Maybe we'll do that. All right, right there. So that should spew out a piece of metal. Right there, one piece of metal. Now, what does this take to make over here? Oh, it takes two pieces of metal. All right, so we would have to do that whole thing twice. Or we would have to program a robot to do it for us. Anyway, guys, what do you think of Autonauts? This could be a really neat little game. And to think that this is totally free right now... Again, check out the link in the description below. The developer is doing a fantastic job. These little automated games like this are really cool. Ian, Jane, thank you for all your hard work. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.